video. Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. And in this multi-video, multi-presentation series on wind power, we're going to show you how to put together your wind turbine onto your tower. Then we're going to show you how to erect your tower into place. Then we're going to show you how to secure that and run your utilities into your structure. Then we're going to show you how to have off-grid power and later in the series tie in with your local utility company on a grid tie. We think wind power is very useful and very important to have, whether it's the seven trumpets of revelation or whether it's just the next natural disaster. Here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, we believe that it's very important to have these things because later down the line, they will come in to play. So with that said, let's take a look at the first video. And as we move through these videos, I hope that it inspires you to get wind power for yourself as well. To begin any wind turbine project, you're going to need a wind turbine. We received ours from Missouri Wind and Solar, and if you'd like to check them out in the link provided in the video description, they provide wind and solar applications to meet your needs for not only if you want to go off grid but for prepping needs as well so make sure to check those guys out and with that said let's open this up and get our components together okay now we're at the portion of the build where that we're mounting our blades to the plate I've got one here that I'm going to demonstrate how to mount and put the nuts and bolt that up but this plate it's recommended according to the instructions and these are very detailed instructions um, on all this stuff uh, how to uh, properly get this ready to mount and they suggest that this be painted because this plate can rust so uh, make sure to uh, paint that part on the, the turbine and also these blades they only recommend to mount these down to five uh, foot pounds of pressure so I'm going to mount this blade onto the plate all you do is run your bolts through and then put your lock nuts on the back side, tighten that down, rotate it around. I've just braced mine on a bucket, my knee, and sit here comfortably, tighten these down. These blades, USA, okay? USA, quality stuff, all right? So I'm gonna bolt these together. We'll get this part uh, finished up, and then we'll mount this to the PMA. Okay, now at this point in the build, what we have here is the PMA that we're going to mount our blades to uh, that we looked at just a moment ago. We have the mount that's going to go down over the pole. Uh, I'll get into the washer and the slip ring and all that here in a little bit. Um, what we're going to focus on right now at the moment is mounting this bracket here and then this bracket right here, here, coming out and bolting to each side of this tail fan that is marked Missouri Wind and Solar. So what we'll do is we'll take our hard wire, we'll run this bolt through here, through the spacer uh, into this, lock that down, take the smaller hard wire, lock that in right there, then we'll take this plate and mount it to the top and I'll run this right here onto the top of that and get this mounted around the right way and show you these wires will run through that down and then the wire will obviously go down through the pipe. And right here is a brief overview of that. Here's the blade section we just put together. Here's the bolts going through. Then the wire going through the top. Tail fin, as I just explained. And then that will go through our tower and into the house to the wiring. So I'll assemble the tail fin section first and show you that. Then I'll make the PMA attached to the connection that it needs to go to. And then I'll show you that. So now this is what it looks like with the tail fin on it. Looks very nice and the braces that come off here make sure that they're mounted in that manner because the bolt holes will not mount up the other way. Okay, I started to uh, do that improperly there, uh, not paying close attention to the directions. Make sure to mount that as you see it so that it'll go up there properly. Now at this point we're going to bolt the PMA to the front of it. So now here we are finished with this portion. I've got the PMA bolted to the mount. I've got the wiring mount uh, bolted at the top. So what we'll do now is we'll set this to the side, get everything painted, and then I will get the wiring that's going to run down the tubing and I'll get it connected out on the build site the day that we're going to actually uh, put this together. And at this point, 
we'll move to getting the ground prepped and getting the pole and everything laid out so that we can join all this together and we'll go from there okay guys so here we are at the farm I've got everything ready to go for today the best of my ability and knowledge I think I've gathered all the tooling we'll need the hole we've got it drilled out about four foot I think I'm gonna go probably four and a half I'm gonna try to dig a little more here in a minute I had Baxley's welding service uh, do this metal fabrication for me um, if you're here in Tennessee and you want somebody that does a good job I'll put the information in the video description at the bottom I recycled this tubing, as always, I always try to recycle something, so I found this metal tubing. Uh, this is aluminum. Some people are kind of sketchy about using aluminum for a uh, wind turbine pole. I don't know, uh, I'm not going to get into that with everybody, but had the flanges put here, we're going to have guy wires coming off at the middle section and at the top point here, and had a solid uh, piece of aluminum machined down. Uh, you know, most people might put their wind turbines on um, some Schedule 40 pipe and, uh, you know, might be just a little bit loose fit. I've got this where the slip ring goes precision down and tightens on this. Then the turbine mount sits down on it and I actually had to dremel the inside of the mount to make some clearance for it to set. So this is going to be a perfect fit and I'll show you here in a little while. And then we'll uh, uh, tighten that down. Then I've got the wire uh, hole drilled all the way through this solid piece we had down in a machine shop local. And we're going to run the wire down through that. And then through the conduit, which we'll have to take ditch digging device here um, in another segment of the video, and we'll run it up the hill. So I'm going to get this cleaned out. We're going to get the anchors put in the ground, and then I'll show you how to attach the guy wire and get this secure. And we'll put the mount on, get all that together, and I'll show you step by step here in just a second. Now since that I'm wanting to keep this compliant with our local electric company as far as selling power through green power switch, I'm going to use this UL listed uh, outdoor commercial cord that is a 12 gauge wire and I'm going to cut the end of it off and I'm going to use this as the wire to feed the power from the PMA on the turbine back down into the house into the wiring board that we've got there. So I'm going to run this wire through and then I'll show you when I bring it out the end how I'm going to start it into the conduit pipe and then we'll go from there to the next step. Now at this portion of the build, we've ran our wire through the tower unit itself out into this conduit elbow and we've glued this to adhesive it so that it's weatherized. And now what we're going to do on the other end is we're going to take the wire and we're going to run it through the PMA. We're going to run it through the mount, through here, through here, and out this end here that retains the wire. And we're going to connect it with the leads coming off of the PMA. And now here's the paint job that I finished up on it, uh, the painted it red. So we're going to put that onto the mount now and I'll show you it's secured and wired in. And after we've got this PMA uh, mounted, I'm going to show you how to mount the blade section on it and then we'll move to the next step. Now where we've ran this wire through, one note to make is as far as the slip ring goes, is now my slip ring I've had this metal machine so I mean it is a snug precision fit um, but now depending on what type of pole and stuff you use you got to make sure that your slip ring is good and secure because your mount is actually going to set up on this so it's very important to make sure that that is secure good because that's the resting platform for your PMA to set and glide and now I'm going to put this uh, washer over it that came with the wind turbine and I might even lubricate it just a little bit more um, with some lubricant before that we make this permanent. Okay, now we've ran our wire out and we've come to our butt connectors and from there out to the PMA. And so now at this point, what we'll do is we'll let the silicone that we put in and coated on the inside of that dry and cure. And then we'll electrical tape that, cover that, put the coating over it and then we'll go to the blades. Now at this portion of the bill, we've got the blade assembly attached to the front, got the lock nut on it, or the uh, lock washer and the nut assembled. We've got the wiring finished and taped up and everything, so this is ready to go. Now, down here, as far as our guy wire attachments, right here I'm putting two lockdowns and I'm running it through on this C-clip and tightening that together. And then what we'll do is once we get this into place is I'll bring this wire down. I do the same thing on the uh, twist post into the ground and then I'll show you how that looks. Okay, now at this portion of the build, 
we've got the pole erected into the ground by cutting a notch into the ground over here that I'll show you here in just a moment. And we tilt the rod up against the cab of the tractor. And back it up very slowly with a ratchet strap and the guy wires coming off to boost it into the right position. And then once it's set into place, we've come down and hooked our guy wires and we're gonna come back and tension those a little more later once everything's completely settled into place. Now for the moment, you can see that the turbine's already spinning and we've not gotten this into conduit yet. And so I don't have a way to do a dump load. I don't have a way to break it. So what we're gonna do for the time being is I'm gonna step right around here. Now, as far as the groove that's cut for your pole to go in, the, the best thing to do is pick an area uh, at your hole that is most easily to back up with or uh, to pull the unit up with whatever you're using whether it's equipment like this tractor here we were backing it into place or whether you're hooking it to a vehicle and winching your pole up uh, you know since we're doing a permanent foundation this is a lot different to um, a mount that can be cranked up which I'll put some links in uh, the video description here uh, at the bottom of the video and you can check that out and so anyway as far as mounting your pole into the ground, um, the, the reason you want to cut your groove like so, um, as you can see here where the concrete's backfilled in, that we'll have to cover that over with dirt, but um, you want to make sure to cut your groove because if you just stick it at the edge of the hole and try to put it up, you might not get it to go into place right like you need to. So what we done is put it uh, into a groove that was cut in an angle, and that way as we back it up, it was slowly sliding into the place that it needed to be within the hole and to get it up straight. And then what we done is we ratcheted this uh, very carefully uh, to this tractor frame, and that way as we were backing up very gently, um, I was up there holding against that, bracing it carefully as it goes up. We were taking a level and putting against this so that we're level this way and this way, making sure. And if you'll notice uh, where the sun is right now, you can see right there, that of course is west over here is east well if you'll notice this pole is kind of almost aerodynamic so i've got it where that the wind is coming from a westerly direction um, it's going right against it and cutting around it now i mean obviously the wind changes but the most often that's where it comes from and that's where we've got it braced now what i'll do now um, for the next segment of video when we run our utility conduit is i'll undo this ratchet move the tractor and we'll start digging our hole to go down and run our utility conduit but for the time being to keep the motor from running I've tied all three of the wires together so that it will short the motor out and keep it from going from turning and break it for the time being until that we can get the conduit ran to connect to this and take it in to connect to the utilities so I'll do this and then we'll move in the next portion of the build on the next video segment you will see the utilities how to connect them how to run them in and connect that to your off-grid and then after we do the off-grid segment we'll show you how to do it connected to your utility company. So until we see you again here at 7 Trumpets Prepper Channel, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.